I'm not sure, Lewis, if you're familiar with this pasta brand Barilla. I am very familiar with it. You see it everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen it everywhere. It's in every supermarket in the country, David. Exactly. Well, the chairman of the Barilla Group says his company will not feature gay families in advertisements for his products because he likes the, quote, traditional family. If someone disagrees, well, they can go, quote, eat another brand of pasta. He made the comment when he was doing a radio interview in Italy. He was asked why the company doesn't have any ads with gay families. And he said, well, we have a slightly different culture. For us, the sacral family remains one of the company's core values. Insert generic anti-gay nonsense here. I don't even have to read the entire thing for you. He then made some kind of an apology where he said, of course, we respect everyone. And if I offended anyone, I'm very uh, I'm very apologetic and I take it all back. John Aravosis from America blog is not buying the apology. He says, yeah, freedom of expression, anti-gay bigots and conservatives generally usually misunderstand the concept of freedom of expression to mean that they can get to say any inanity with impunity. Doesn't work that way. Barilla absolutely has the right to say that their pasta is for straight people and we have the right to tell him to Vafanopoli. So I think that the most important thing here, it's not surprising that some guy is anti-gay, right? I mean, it, it, that's happened all the time. There's many business owners who would rather black people not have their products or gay people not have their products or whoever the case may be, doesn't matter. But there have been a lot of discussions of boycotting Barilla Pasta in response to this statement. I know because I know several people who run restaurants that many restaurants use Barilla Pasta. So a lot of places you go to, wow, that lovely Italian pasta dish, blah, blah, blah. Many of them are actually using two to three dollar dry pasta that from Barilla that you would get at the supermarket. Will you now ask the waitstaff if the restaurant uses that pasta or will you only boycott Barilla in your home? The logistics of this particular boycott are actually very difficult. And it brings me back to something I felt for a while, which is that it is truly difficult to have a successful boycott. It's not impossible and I'm not discouraging people from boycotting products they want to boycott, but just the pr pragmatically speaking, this one's tough, Lewis, because so many restaurants use this pasta. Yeah, you could do it with a small company that does not have, uh, you know, much distribution. That could easily happen. But when it's a company like this, whose product is so prominent internationally, it's almost impossible. So then my question to the audience is, is you is a boycott the best way to show your displeasure? for these comments or is there something else that may be more effective? Let me know. I'm, I'm genuinely curious because I understand the desire to boycott. And at the same time, I'm very aware of the lack of practicality of who knows the, the Italian place down the street from the studio that I really like. Maybe they use this pasta. Am I going to now ask them and not go there? Does their competitor across the street use the same pasta? Would enough people complain that they would actually change their supplier? I don't know. Obviously, if enough people did, they would. I, I just don't know how feasible it is, you know? Uh, that would be tough. I mean, uh, and really, how many people are going to even hear about this story? That's another aspect. Absolutely. Yeah.